First up is installing Unreal Engine. For that, you have first to install the Epic Games Launcher. You can find the link to the download page in the description. When you have installed it and are logged into your account there, you have to click Unreal Engine on the left side and then Library on the top. To install a new version, you have to press the right plus icon next to Engine Versions and then select the version you want to install. I will be using 5.3 for the first tutorial project, but when 5.4 is released, I will probably switch to that for future tutorials. So now the step is done and you have installed Unreal Engine, already a step into the right direction, but one other important thing is still missing. Obviously, you also need a code editor for changing your C++ files. For that, you can use Visual Studio. From Unreal Engine 5.4 on, Visual Studio 2022 will be required. And you can find the download link in the description as well. The download link is for the community edition of Visual Studio because that one is for free and we like free stuff. During the installation of Visual Studio, there are a few things to consider and make sure of that you have ticked because otherwise Unreal Engine will be mad at you. The modules you should activate for the installations are .NET Desktop Development, Desktop Development with C++, Universal Windows Platform Development and the Game Development with C++ module. Important for the game development with C++ module is that you also have to tick the Unreal Engine Installer option. If you have selected all those modules and options, then you can press install and enjoy a small break. When the installation is finished, you are finally ready to start your development journey with C++ for Unreal Engine. But obviously, let's check out if everything is working. For that, start Unreal Engine and go to the Games tab on the left and select Blank Project. Activate C++, give the project a cool name and create it. If everything is working correctly, the project should open without issues. If you encounter any error at this stage, please let me know in the comments and I will try to help you out fixing it. Lastly, there's one recommendation I can give to you, namely to check out Rider. And no, this is not a product placement. Rider is another code editor you could use for developing your games in Unreal Engine. In my personal opinion, it's better suited for developing stuff in Unreal Engine than Visual Studio and it will make your life easier down the line. And in future tutorials, I will be using Rider. So if you want to have the 100% follow along experience, then you should check out Rider. But after you have installed Unreal Engine and a code editor you want to use for your programming journey, you are now ready to start it and we will do so in future tutorials. So see you then.